The Peeps Jet Force SC is based on a capacitor system, which is different than a battery. A, a battery is a long-term storage device. That's where a capacitor has a great advantage. It can discharge electricity very quickly and inflate the airbag. It's always best to have two AA batteries so that you can have a second recharge if needed. These batteries are used to charge the capacitors. The energy is transferred from the batteries to the capacitors and the capacitors can discharge very quickly and turn the fan, which is also housed in this unit. It's a turbine-based fan, which is very good for high pressure and quick inflation. If you're in an avalanche, you pull this handle, which would activate this cable, which triggers the fan unit to start discharging. What happens then is these capacitors are able to discharge very, very quickly at really high current. And they'll spin this turbine fan for about five seconds, which is enough to inflate the entire airbag. A very simple system. Um, on off is easy. You'd arm it like this before you go into avalanche terrain. There's some status lights on the side of the backpack. You can see through the pack without unzipping it right here. These lights tell you if you're good to go or not. If, if the system is armed, you'll see a green light here. If you see a yellow light, that means that you have a limited amount of time because your batteries are dead, but your capacitors are charged. Um, and if you see a red light, you should not use the pack. If you see a red light, you need to take the pack home and recharge it in the wall outlet or else put new AA batteries in and wait while the batteries charge the capacitor before going into avalanche terrain. So in a project like the Jet Force SC here, it was super important that we design a bag that's just as usable and innovative as the technology itself. One of the most important things in an avalanche bag is to make sure that your safety equipment is easy to access. Right up front in the pack is your avalanche safety pocket. And inside of the avalanche safety pocket, you would store your shovel blade, your shovel handle, and your probe. The next pocket behind that is the main compartment. We made sure that it was easy to access not only your gear, but also the capacitors to turn on the system and also empty the air out of the airbag. What we loved about the Alpride system was the ability to change the deployment handle from the left side or to the right side. And what this lets you do in the event of an emergency, it lets you pull the deployment handle with your left hand while keeping your right hand on the throttle. There's also a standard leg loop to prevent the pack from being pulled upwards during an avalanche. Being a guide 150 plus days a year, taking out over 200 people, I have had some mechanical pack failures in the past. It definitely sparked my interest in the new battery powered stuff. And having confidence in your equipment is everything in the backcountry. For every snowboarder out there, it's massive to trust your gear. And a big part of our gear is our pack, what's in it, the functionality, and can it potentially save my life. Another really cool feature about the SC bag that sets it apart from most avalanche packs is it's not a top load. The zipper is actually around the bag so it allows you to put it on your seat or your tunnel. You can open it up, grab your tool kit, your sandwich, whatever you have in there that you need and zip it back up. A really cool function of the battery powered packs is it allows you to practice, be comfortable with the pack. So in the event of an avalanche, you're prepared, you're ready to go. You've practiced, you know all about it and it could save your life.